This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering, news and articles. Hi, I'm Steven, and this is my Marinar EDH deck. This is Marinar, he's my general. Uh, first off, yes, this is a Relentless Rats deck. That's why I chose him as my Rat Lord. Uh, he's pretty great for it. He gives all rats fear. He gives you another way to win with a bunch of tokens you can just keep pumping out. Um, and he combos a couple of bits in here, so let me get into it. Uh, first of all, there's 22 basic swamps. I'll take those out of the way. And then when you're playing Relentless Rats, your mana spikes so heavy at 3 that almost a lot of the deck is built around being able to do other things with your mana on turns before or after 3. Um, which brings my first non-basic land, Thawing Glaciers, my favorite EDH lands of all time. Um, but it's really great in this deck. It's the perfect speed for rats. You can play it turn 1, activate it turn 2, and then hopefully by th turn 3 you're dropping a rat each turn and you keep going on afterwards. So Thawing Glaciers, can't get enough of it. Of course, there's Coffers and Urborg in here. Uh, Dust Bowl, this is one of my favorite ones to get out. I usually tutor for this um, later in the game. Once you get the Rat Advantage going, just start Strip Mining away or Dust Bowling away, their best lands. And then you can get usually really close, just beating with Rats. I like having the lands that can do some pain too to finish. So Leechrin Swamp, uh, Mutavolt is a Rat. Sometimes it helps uh, get the count up with Marinar. You can actually activate it and sack this with Marinar, that way I'm to get rid of Relentless Rats to get going. Um, and then Ink Moth Nexus, another way of winning. In fact, uh, you can surprise them and there's some equipments in here. You can pump up your Infect real quick and take somebody out. Just another way of getting it done. Uh, Gargoyle Castle, a big flying beater, not a lot of flying in here. Uh, Bajuka Bog for those graveyards. Baron Moore, of course, a cycle. And you can get a few card draw spells. This is black, so Relic Tower fits in nice. And then their Swarm Yard regenerates any rat, which is very handy. Strip mine for their problem lands. And then here we go, into the rats. There are 35 Relentless Rats. And just playing Rat Go, Rat Go, starting turn 3, is a pretty fast clock. All you really need is about 4 rats out there and you're swinging for 20 damage. So, it's not that bad of a strategy. I normally play for the more popper games. Um, sometimes there's some leagues that don't allow tutoring and such. So for those decks, I can modify this one pretty quick. And then get in there with a pretty reliable deck that can surprise people. Plus it's fun just beating people with rats. Alright, so now Rat Catcher, a real creature. Uh, the only non-rat in the deck. Um, he of course will fetch you a rat each turn. Once you get to 6 mana, you really want to be dropping 2 rats a turn. That really puts the pressure on people. So get him out right away. Plus he has fear, so he can beat himself. Uh, Crypt Rats, one of the only real pieces of removal that I have in the deck. Yeah, you can spend X and Sweep. Um, so just really good. Usually the rats are bigger, so he can uh, do damage. Get a lot of the little guys out of there, or just wipe out a general. You can bring him back, do it again. And then Grave Robber. A lot of graveyard shenanigans. Plus, if you can flip him, you can keep pulling guys back for you. And so there's the creatures. Expedition map, you should go find whatever piece you're looking for. Thawing Glaciers right away, or if you have Urbor, go get Coffers, go get Dust Bowl. Whatever's going to fit it for you. Um, and then those decks, or those uh, games, leagues that don't like the tutoring at all, I put this in in place of like Thawing Glaciers. And I liked it so much, I left it in here. It always... You're turning guys sideways into the red zone all the time, so you get a lot of land out. Explorer Scope's pretty nice. Of course, it's better with the top. Uh, Aether Vial, all your rats are pretty much costing three, so this good way of getting them generated early. And then there's top, great card. Uh, Jet Medallion lowers all your costs by one for your black spells. Uh, works real well. And then Soul Ring, only real ramp rock I have in there. Uh, Gauntlet of Power, I didn't put Cage sign in here, it only ending cost six because it's double rat turn there. But this does pretty well get into the big splashy part of your hands. And then Soul Foundry, usually gonna imprint to rentless rats, and then just keep making them. I usually try to play this as soon as I can and then hold the cards in my hand until I get the six mana, 
and you can start dropping double rats. Uh, Bitter Blossom, great. Have tokens, put pressure on, you can clamp them, things like that. A couple draw cards. Important is note they cost. This one costs two, so. Also, Sign of Blood for two. Draws a couple cards. Uh, Minions Murmurs, this can get a couple cards and get you a huge stack of your deck, so Rugby Tower is nice when you have this. Um, lots of tokens, so this usually gets you a bit. And then Friction Arena, always great. Bottle Coyster, this removes your hand during your opponent's turn. You're not really playing an instance anyway, and then you get to draw another card on your turn. A little risky, I've never really had it turn around on me before though, so just a good way of drawing another card and kind of protecting your hand. Uh, Dark Ritual, I could pop out those rats early. A little bit of tutoring, V-Tutor and D-Tutor. Again, the lower cost ones, that way I can get my arena first and then just keep drawing cards or whatever it's going to be. Uh, Grave Purge, so if all your rats get wiped out, you can put them all back on top. Um, just works great to recover. Same thing with Death Denied. You can just grab five rats out of your yard, fill your hand back up and keep laying them out. And then Unearth is the perfect little rat reanimator. It's pretty much a relentless rat for one mana. And you can cycle it even if you need to. And then there's Bidding. You won't be able to see what's coming. It'll be Blowout sometimes. Just bring them all right back. And then there's Skull Clamp. Best equipment ever. It just draws you tons of cards. Marinar makes tons of 1-1s. One -one, so you can just keep clamping all day. Uh, Jet, really the only other removal piece I have in here. Um, best equipment I can think of though. And then Thornbite Staff. This combos with Marinar. You can pump out an infinite amount of tokens because of the whenever a creature goes to the yard, he untaps. So he'll sack a rat, untap himself, and then you can keep doing it. Just pump out tokens. And those games where people aren't tutoring for answers and stuff, this can catch a lot of people. And then there's Thrumming Stone. Uh, with 35 rats, found it pretty sufficient. You can usually just ripple them all out with Thrumming Stone. And then that's where you use where Grave Purge is going to be nice. Sometimes you could ripple it out, they'll see it come in, they wipe the board, and you Grave Purge, put them on top, draw that one rat, play it, and ripple them all out again. So, throwing stone. And then Hatred. I like winning my game, so I like having the ways of just ending people right away. When you sit down in multiplayer, rats is kind of underpowered. Sometimes you can just Hatred for 19 with your general, who gives himself fear, take somebody out. Or if you just got a higher life total, just finish somebody else off and then turn your rat horde the other way. And then the other way we can surprise win is with Soren. Drop somebody onto 10, use your two or, or three or four rats usually is all you're gonna need. Hopefully four, that'll about do it, anybody. And then finish them in. Thanks for watching CMDRDX. Please subscribe and favorite.